This episode of Cooking Sums brought to you by Dr. Squatch. You're out in the fields all day like a little baby goat gnawing around in the dirt eating some grass. Ah, you get caught up, a big eagle comes flying in, sees you, tries to grab you. You get scared, you run around, you get stuck in some mud, you got some grass, maybe some burrs all over you. You gotta wash up. Being in the kitchen's the same thing as an eagle predator trying to come down and swoop on you. Dr. Squatch is the only soap. You get down and dirty, you froth up your beans, you gotta wash it up. You got the deep sea goat's milk, rub that on the face. Grapefruit IPA hit the pit. Finally, take a pine tar, rub up them little gummy toes. It's natural, don't use those big soaps filled with chemicals, okay? That shit is gross. New customers can get 20% off on orders of $20 or more if you use the code DSC Maddie. Click the link in the description below to find out more Dr. Squatch products. Today on Cooking Something, we're gonna make Brick Chicken Diavaglio. Brick Chicken Diavaglio. What's inside? What's inside? Literally a brick. Brick Chicken because I got a little bit of a story that goes along with the inspiration of how I got to a chicken brick, brick chicken, brick chicken, Diwalia, vivo. I'm gonna spatchcock debone our chicky here. We wanna take out the spinals. You make an incision, you could probably use scissors. You could use a lot of different little things. You could use a chainsaw, you could use a mallet. Take out the ribs. We don't want them ribs in there, no. And we're just gonna cut and trim out some of the bones, not all of the bones. I do want some bones in there because guess what? I think some bones create a little bit of texture, a little bit of juiciness, a little bit of life. And it just cut along the sides. And you just wanna be careful because you really don't wanna cut through the skin. There we go. So we got the spine. <laughs> We got the ribs here, spine and ribs. Okay, get out of here. I'm gonna season this with salt. A fair amount of salt, okay? A fair amount of salt. Once again, cast iron pan, medium, medium high heat, okay? Some olive oil. Oh, okay, perfect amount. You wanna kinda cover the whole bottom of the pan. It didn't even sizzle. Perfect. Listen. It's starting to bubble. So put your chicken in a cold pan. Then just wait for it gradually to warm up. We got a brick. We're wrapping, just for food safe, just wrap, take a big brick, wrap it in tin foil, nice and food safe. We're gonna leave this here and let these skins render and crisp and become beautiful. It literally is gonna cook 90% skin side down. Then we're gonna flip it for the last couple minutes and that's it. And then we're gonna start prepping our Diavolo. Daviala! And now let's make our peppers and onions for our Diavolo. So the thing about this, so I was at this restaurant in Chicago and it was a steakhouse. It was this really old steakhouse. It was amazing. Literally out of a movie, like two police officers in uniform come in and sit down, got chicken Divaglio. And they came and it was like this beautiful, like roasted chicken covered in peppers and onions. And it just looks so fucking good. So ever since then, I was like, I wanna make, you know, a really rustic, really robust chicken Diavolo, you know? So what we need to do is kinda build out what that's gonna be. You know, I want some onions and we're gonna kinda make just like a big old saute. But the thing is, is I want to develop and kind of bring out some really nice flavors. And so we got, you know, some habanadas. Habanadas, this is from Blue Goose, baby. These are literally, they taste like, ah, gotta jump, jump. These taste like scotch bonnets, but there's literally no heat. So it's all fruit, that fruitiness. We got some garlic. I'm just literally gonna take some garlic, smash it, and throw in like three cloves. We got peps. Just cut them. Get, you don't want seeds in them? Fine. Look at that. Cut them into little wedgies. Add some seeds? Yeah, sure. Add some seeds. Don't add some seeds. It's really kind of like whatever. We're making a big old melange. Even some of the habanadas, I might even throw in whole. This little guy, he's cute. Throw him in whole. Who gives a fuck? Oh yeah. 
and we're just gonna roast these up. Just pan roasting's fine. Doesn't take too much work. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, okay? Woo! Little saute. A little more oil even. Man, that smells incredible. This is this is nice. Mm-hmm. Ooh! Okay. So we've kind of softened the onion. We're not looking for like a big caramelization. A little bit of dried flakes, okay? Chili flakes. And we got some smoked paprika. Boom! So now we've activated some dried chili flakes, smoked paprika. Now, chicken stock, homemade chicken stock. What I want to do is just cover all the peppers and we're gonna reduce this to a sauce. So now look at this beautiful color. This is the Diavalo. Diavalo! And once we get close to reducing it to the perfect sauce, then we're gonna add some pickled peppers. Which ones are these called? What do you call these fucking things? Pimento de Bico? We're gonna add some of these Pimento de Bicos. These are sweet little chilies. Little pickled chili peppers. We're gonna add some of those in there. And we're gonna add just a couple little cherry bombs as well. We're gonna round out this whole Diavolo. I don't know if I'm pissing off Italians right now, but guess what? You deserve it. You can handle it, Italians. So we're just gonna reduce this to a nice sauce consistency. She nice, this is gonna be good. So many different flavors. Peppers are truly just incredible. It's a good heat. It's not a completely fuck you up heat. See, look what's happening. Oh, golden brown. It's nice and flat. And once again, this brick being on top, it's just pushing down, compressing the meat, giving it a little bit of a different texture. You're gonna see when you make this at home. Now watch this, see? Boom, take the brick off. And let's see, this chicken should come up relatively easy. You just wanna make sure all the edges are kinda safe and kinda, you can pull them up. Maybe two spatchies. Let's do two spatchies right here. It's gonna be worth it, here we go. Oh! <laughs> It's fucking perfect! That's fucking perfect. Look at that, it's like glass. Now, guess what? Turn the heat off, turn the heat off. There is enough residual heat to cook through the rest of that chicken. Now, let's finish up our sauce. Big dog's happy. Genuine happiness, cause I didn't fuck it up. Genuine happiness, cause I didn't fucking have to throw it in the fucking trash and do it again. We got our little pickled cherry. Throw a little handful in, scatter them around. And I wanna make sure you burst them, get those juices in there. Rip them up, take the seeds out. You don't want a lot of seeds. And now we got that vinegar. We got some of those pickled peppers. Let's turn the heat off on this. And we've reduced it to pretty much a nice sauce. And now what we're gonna do, juice of a lemon. That's a lemon, okay, everybody? Quarter pound of butter. So we're just gonna cube up our butter. Drop this in, and we're just gonna move around our beautiful sauce with our butter. Oh, yeah. We need some parsley, flat leaf parsley, chippy chop it, okay? Boom, that's it, just a little once over. Toss that into the old pit pot. Dun, 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 dun. Fresh cracked pat. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You know I love a fresh cracked pat, okay? Oh boy, look at that. Oh, the peppers. That is the Diavolo. Diavolo. <laughs> I, 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 I made the nicest little brick chicky for you. For me. This is a major conundrum. We don't want to cover up this crispy, beautiful skin. No. So I think what we do is pour. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. We use really nice olive oil. I think we spoon a little bit of this around, okay? We just made maybe one of the most beautiful brick chickens I've ever made. And that is the patience in that medium, medium, high heat, depending. Now, look. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the flavor. Are you kidding? Just that on a plate? Just this. Okay, now, let's make it, let's, let's divaglio peps and onions we cover it. Mm. A little bit, I want some of that fat. Mmm, mmm. Look at that little nub sticking out. Mm. Shall we have a bite? 
Do we have a nibble? Oh. Oh. Fucking joking? Are you fucking joking? I'm showing you how to make this shit? I'm showing you how to make this shit? Are you fucking joking? Stack it up. You gotta stack it up. You gotta get all those peppers, onions, juices. Look at this bite. Look at this bite. Stop. You make this at home. And there isn't 67,000 babies born. Love, joy, happiness. The entire world is filled with depression and fear and horrible events. Can we have a minute to enjoy ourselves? Can we have a minute to cook something we love? For me, for you, for you, for somebody else. And the ripple of the positivity through food begins and ends with flavors. We're developed, I may be a loud mouth idiot, but the only thing I do love, well, not the only, I love a lot of stuff, but the, 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 the food. It can change your day. It can change your mood. It can give you what you needed. Oh. Diavolo, Diavolo, why you do? I'm not mad at him. That's how you make brick chicken diavolo, okay? Buckle the fuck up. I love you. That's amore.